Welcome to the Get Fit Guys Quick and Dirty Tips to Slim Down and Shape Up. You know, I've been receiving several questions about how to run for fitness. So in this article, you're going to learn how to take it from the sofa to the street. In future episodes, you'll learn how to approach events like 5Ks, 10Ks, or even a half or full marathon. But for now, it's important to understand how to take up running safely, effectively, and injury-free. When you first begin to run, walk-run intervals will allow you to gradually ease your body into the new form of movement, and using this strategy can allow you to easily get to the point of running two or three continuous miles within just five to ten weeks. Depending on your fitness levels, you should start with a total distance of one to three miles and use a three-to-one walk-to-run ratio. Now, you don't need to be one of the genius listeners to Math Dude's quick and dirty tips to fully understand what a ratio is. I'll tell you right now. A 3 to 1 walk-run ratio would look something like this for a 2-mile workout. You would walk 3 minutes and then jog or run 1 minute before returning to a 3-minute walk, and you would continue this scenario until you've traveled 2 miles. You could perform such a workout three to four times per week, trying to allow a full 24 to 48 hours between sessions. After one to two weeks of this, progress to a two to one walk to run ratio, with walk efforts of two to four minutes and run efforts of half that, one to two minutes. One to two weeks later, move on to a one to one walk to run ratio, walking and running for an equal distance of time and still only running a maximum of about four minutes at a time. You can then begin to reverse the ratios by running two minutes for each one minute of walking for one to two weeks, then progressing to a three to one walk to run ratio for one to two weeks. And finally, at this point, you can completely eliminate the walking and travel the entire distance by running. If you want to add more miles, you can then begin to increase the total running distance by adding about 10% distance each week. See, absolutely no algebra involved. Here's your quick and dirty tip for the walk-run intervals. Walk fast during the walk intervals. Rather than slowing to a leisurely amble, try and keep your feet moving as quickly as possible. If you do that, you'll find the transition back to running to be far easier. One advantage of running is that it requires very little equipment. With no requirements for an expensive bicycle, a fancy home gym, or as-seen-on-TV toys, all you really need is a pair of shoes. That's assuming you already own a t-shirt and shorts. If you do not own these crucial wardrobe elements, you either live in Siberia or you desperately need to go shopping for clothes. Choose running shoes that are designed for running, not walking, golf, tennis, basketball, cross-training, or bowling. If possible, try to purchase your shoes from a running store, which should allow you to take the shoes for a quick outdoor test run in exchange for your driver's license, picture identification, or firstborn child. Finally, purchase shoes that are comfortable. Running shoes should not feel hard, stiff, tight, or loose. Imagine yourself as Cinderella. You want the perfect slipper, and you'll be very thankful for that perfect slipper when you're spending several days per week pounding it on pavement. Here's my quick and dirty tip for getting running shoes. If you can afford it, when you find a pair of shoes that really seem to fit well and feel comfortable, consider purchasing two pairs in which you can alternate your runs. This technique will ensure that your feet and joints have more structure and support. Often, new runners tighten up in the shoulders. They don't breathe deeply and tighten the neck and the jaw, too. Instead, make sure that you run with loose, relaxed shoulders, breathe from deep in the back of your throat, and occasionally push your tongue against the roof of your mouth to relax your facial muscles. Here's my quick and dirty tip to relax while you run. Take one deep breath for every two steps. If you turn blue in the face, then relax your body, check for tight shoulders, neck, or jaw, and try again. Ask a friend to video record you from the back and the front while you run. From head to toes, here are three crucial elements to look for on the video. You should be leaning slightly forward with a tall, proud posture and relaxed shoulders. Your elbows should be bent at about 90 degrees and shouldn't swing in front of your body. Your feet should strike the ground with more of the midfoot than the heel. If you're smiling and wearing a cool outfit, you also get style points. Quick and dirty tip for seeing yourself run? 
If you're being recorded, then dance like nobody is watching. Pretend the camera is not there and just run as you always run. This way you'll truly know what you look like when you're running. If you follow the tips in this episode, then you'll experience a smooth and enjoyable transition into running. But if you do happen to get foot pain, knee pain, hip pain, or back pain, consider visiting a sports medicine physician to make sure that you don't end up watching a 5K instead of running it. In other words, don't run through pain. It's simply not worth it. But do you know what is worth it? That's right, the Get Fit Guy newsletter. That's the free newsletter you can sign up for at quickanddirtytips.com. In addition to signing up for that newsletter, which will give you a bunch of videos and tips to get fit each week, you can also find me on Facebook by doing a Facebook search for Get Fit Guy, and you can follow me on Twitter and get the tweets that I send out each day to help you get more fit. The Twitter page is at twitter.com slash getfitguy, or just do a Twitter search for Get Fit Guy. And finally, if you're wanting to fill out that special pair of jeans or you really want to wear your t-shirt that says, Welcome to the Gun Show, you're not going to want to miss the next episode, which will be all focused on how to make your muscles bigger. Until next time, this is the Get Fit Guy signing out and telling you, what are you waiting for? Go get fit. Get fit.